As you can see, we're playing Kobomon right now. You might be able to tell, look at this. This is Kobomon working for Minecraft in 2023. And I'm about to show you how to download and install Kobomon. And also, if you watch this video until the end, you might learn how to make your Kobomon run better on your computer and also how to add shaders. So let's get started with the tutorial. Let's go. Now, step number one to download Kobomon is to click the second link in the description, which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. Now, CurseForge is the launcher that we're going to use to install Kobomon. And keep in mind that with CurseForge, you could also install other Minecraft mod packs like Pixel Mon, Craft. there's many, there's like a thousand mod packs. So let's go ahead and download that. Click the second link. This is our written guide on how to download and install CurseForge. If you want to read, go ahead and read. But in this video, we're going to click this button that says download CurseForge here. That is going to redirect us to CurseForge official website. And in here, we're going to click download. Now, in my case, it's asking me where I want to save this file. But for you, it's just probably going to download automatically. Go ahead and get that file once it's downloaded. It's probably going to show on the top right if you're using the newer version of Chrome. As you can see, it's right here on the top right. If you are using the older version of Chrome, might be down here on the bottom left or whatever browser you're using, it's going to show somewhere. Anyways, once you find the file, go ahead and drag and drop it into the desktop. If you didn't find the file, you could probably find it in your downloads folder. And before we keep going, keep in mind there's multiple ways of installing Kobomon. You could also install it directly from their official website, which is kobomon.com. The only thing in there is that you're going to need to download multiple mods at the same time. You're going to need to do a whole process before getting Kobomon working. With this process, however, using CurseForge, we're going to be able to install Kobomon just with like a couple clicks and we're not going to need to download Fabric or Forge separate. So let's go ahead and install CurseForge. To install CurseForge, obviously just double click the installer. Once you double click the installer, you're going to be prompted with the administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it to run and then you're going to get the installer right here. It should look something like this. In this tutorial, I'm going to use English, but if you speak any other language like me, I speak Spanish, you could use the Spanish one, but we're just going to use English for the tutorial. Go ahead and click next. And then once you click next, you're going to be presented with this page that is kind of loading right now well not this page but this window in here this little menu where you could create a shortcut for overwolf but in here all you have to do is click that you have read and that you accepted the terms and then click next and then click next do not click anything in here just click next and wait for CurseForge to install installing CurseForge is really really simple it's just really clicking a little bit and moving forward and also i just noticed that i look like a priest right with this thing all the way up let me lower it a little bit i kind of look like i just got out of church but there we go let's just wait for this to install CurseForge. like i said you can install Kobomon other ways but CurseForge is going to make it way way easier to install any mod packs and once CurseForge has installed you will know it has finished because it will show you the little shortcut in here on the desktop and also it will open this little website on the background that you could also just close it and then keep going with the installation. So, so just click on launch and let's wait for this to load. Keep in mind that since it is the first time you're launching CurseForge, it might take a little bit longer than usual. Usually once you have opened it once, it's going to launch right away as soon as you click it. But since it is the first time, it has to do this little loading thing. A uh, whole intro right here, as you can see, it's telling me welcome to CurseForge. Of course, you could click next and go through the guide. But since you're watching this, we're just going to click escape intro for now. Once you click escape intro, it's going to say, what game are you downloading the mod pack for? Obviously, it is Minecraft, so just go ahead and select Minecraft. It is usually like the first one. If not, just scroll down and then click on Minecraft. And as you can see, I already have a bunch of different mod packs. That is because I already had CurseForge installed in the past and I have a lot of mod packs saved in here. However, we do not have Kobomon. So how do we get Kobomon in CurseForge? Well, the thing that you want to do in here is click where it says browse mod packs. Obviously, you could start scrolling down here until you find Kobomon, but that might take you a little bit. So let's just go ahead and click on search for mod packs and type Kobomon like this. C O B B L E M O N and then press enter. And as you can see, we have Kobomon right here. As far as I know, this is the official Kobomon and it's the most recently updated too. As you can see, it's three days ago, barely got updated. This is Minecraft 1.19.2, so that is pretty recent. And this is Kobomon with Forge, meaning that we're going to be able to add shaders to Kobomon. Really, really simple. And if you stay until the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to do so. So let's go ahead and click on install once you've found Kobomon. There you go. Now just wait for that to install. If for any reason you get a little bit lost, you could just go back Go to your mod packs and you should see Kobomon installing in here as well. Now, when you come over here to your mod packs, you probably don't have as many mod packs as I have. Obviously, I have a lot of them, not only because I play them, but also because I make tutorials for you guys in order to get all of these mod packs work. Now, let's just wait for uh, Kobomon to finish. And I don't want to skip anything. I don't want to cut in the video because I want you guys to see that this actually works because sometimes I do the little cuts, right, just to save time on the video. And people say, well, you cut it because it's not working and you did something behind the cameras like I'm not gonna make a tutorial if something is not working. I always test it out, then I make the video and I make sure it works, right? So as you can see, Kobomon already finished. That was actually quite fast. And let's go ahead and click play. 
to see if it's working. You're going to see that it's going to open the Minecraft launcher and it might be a different launcher. I mean, it's still gonna look the same way as it always looks, but it's a different launcher than the one you already have installed, meaning that it might have you re-log in. And that is completely normal. This is a different launcher, okay? So whatever you do in this launcher does not carry over to your actual Minecraft launcher. And if you look down here, I mean, I'm kind of covering it, so you might not be able to see it. But if you look down there, uh, let me see if I can find it. Down there, there's two different <laughs> there's two different launchers open. There's that one, and then there's that one over there, which is not open, which is the original Minecraft launcher. So that is because there's two different launchers for this. In here, you might have to log in. Once you open it through CurseForge, it might have you log in if it is your first time using CurseForge. So once you log in, you're gonna see that Cobblemon is already selected and you could just click on play. It might take a little bit because it is the first time you open it and it has to like prepare and load all the mods. And while Cobblemon loads, let me tell you something that is actually very beneficial for you if you wanna play Cobblemon. And that is Apex Hosting. If you wanna make a Minecraft server to play with your friends, including Cobblemon, Apex Hosting has 25% off right now. And I'm going to leave the first link in the description so you could get that 25% off. Remember, if you're trying to play Cobblemon with your friends in a server that is open 24 seven, you could use Apex Hosting and get 20 25% off your first server. It's really, really simple to install. Like I said, you could do modded server, not only Cobblemon, you could do our craft, you could do Pixelmon, you could do any mod pack that you want or just a normal server with Apex hosting. First link in the description for 25% off. And let's go back and let's go back to the game. As you can see, it already loaded. As you can see, Cobblemon already loaded. And let's go ahead and click on single player. Oh, there we go. Click on create world and see what it puts us in. Even though it looks as slow, just let it load. And that actually rhymes a little bit. If it looks as slow, just let it load. Okay, as you can see, it's already at 80%. Once it starts creating the world, it's quite fast. And now it's joining the world and my camera looks like trash. That is because, well, I'm recording and all of that. But let's see, we're already in the game. Pre press M to choose your Pokemon and begin your journey. So if we press M, there we go. We are inside Cobblemon. But anyways, for those of you that are stayed and you wanna add shaders to this game, let's go ahead and check if it already has the option to add shaders. Let's go to all options, video settings. And as you can see, it does not have the option to add shaders. So how do you add shaders to Cobblemon if you wanna add shaders? Well, that is pretty easy. All you have to do is look at the Minecraft version that you're playing on, which is Minecraft 1.19.2. You could quit the game and let's get the right Optifine for Minecraft 1.19.2. So just click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Optifine. Once in here, go ahead and click on the button. Of course, you could read through the guide, but just click on the button for now. And over here, well, it says Minecraft 1.19.4, but we actually want 1.19.2. So just click on show all versions. Let's scroll down until you see 1.19.2. Click on download. That is going to redirect you over here, where in five seconds, you're going to see a button up here on the top right that says skip. Let's go ahead and wait five seconds. And you're going to click on that button now. And that is going to redirect you over here, where you're going to click download for once and then just click save if you have the same option as me. If not, it's probably going to download automatically for most of you. So once your file completely downloaded, of course you can find it here on your downloads button. Go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. And now we could actually get rid of the CurseForge installer. And let's go ahead and launch CurseForge back up. Go ahead and click on Cobblemon one more time. And that is going to open the Minecraft launcher, remember, which by now I assume you already logged into. And once your launcher has opened, just give it a second to load. If you're already logged in, you don't have to re-log in. Then go to installations, find your Cobblemon, which should be like one of the only ones in here. Click on this little folder that appears on the right. And that is going to open this folder, which has more files inside. Don't get lost. Just click where it says mods. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Click where it says mods is right here and drag and drop Optifine into that folder. And then you could go ahead and close this folder down and you could just launch it again. And now this is going to add Optifine to the game and you're going to be able to add shaders. If you don't know how to add shaders using Optifine, I have tons of tutorials. Now, as you might be able to tell, we install Cobblemon using CurseForge, but if by any reason CurseForge is not working for you, let me know down in the comments and I'll try to make a video on how to install Cobblemon without using CurseForge, just installing the game without using CurseForge. So let's go ahead and test Optifine, go to options, go to video settings, and now we have the shaders option. Just download any shaders that you want and you have shaders in Cobblemon work. So I guess that ends this video, guys. Thank you for watching and as always, bye-bye.